this is Sarim Khan and today I am returned with my new question on kinematics for JEE mains and today's our question asks us to us that a ball is projected with velocity 10 meters per second in upward direction the, from height of 20 meters g equals to 10 meters per second square mark the correct options for the following questions first question in this is find time taken by the ball to come at the ground since in this question this question is divided by in total two questions so first of all we'll try to solve the first question and after that we'll try to solve the second question then first of all this our options are one seconds two seconds 3.2 seconds and none of these so those are our options now since we know that the ball any ball we have that is kept at any certain height 20 meters this height is 20 meters and at the top of this height any ball we are putting later we throw this ball with 10 meters per second in just upward direction towards the y-axis later what happens we have to tell since in question this describes that after after we threw it after some uh, reaching to some more height so, um, its maximum height its velocity becomes zero and it uh, starts returning and later it falls to the ground means even it doesn't stay here it falls directly to the ground and in how much time it had fallen directly to the ground so this we have to tell so only what we'll be doing here let me uh, make a diagram again here okay if this is thrown with 10 meters per second just in upwards direction so that is 10 we can call since we know that this direction what is this direction j cap of course so 10 j cap its velocity is then here this question describes to us that imagine after this what it falls it falls up to it goes up to here and from here it returns to the ground and this height something from here to here this height is 20 meters this is the maximum height acquired by the particle means h max then here it tells the question tells to us that if so much distance it has covered so much distance then what is the time taken to cover so much distance but actually that is displacement what is the time taken to cover so much displacement displacement so first of all let me tell to you that imagine from here to here it comes in t naught time imagine then up to t from t equals to zero up to t equals to t naught displacement of the particle is zero how it is zero because actually it is not projectile motion i have made this graph like this only to describe well but actually it is not projectile motion it is just a vertical motion just like i am saying that the ball is falling like this first it's going up like this and coming back this is vertical motion but if in projectile motion directly from here we throw and up to here it reaches this is projectile motion but this is case of a vertical motion first go up uh, goes up and then down and up to t naught time imagine from 0 to t naught it comes to the same position it will of course come to the same position then up to t naught its displacement is 0 then what is the total displacement of the ball of course minus 20 why minus 20 it is returning to ground this is minus j cap direction so 20 into minus j cap that is minus 20 so minus 20 meters then what is the total displacement minus 20 meters now according to this we can do s is equal to what ut plus half at square everybody know this the second equation of motion second equation of motion can we apply here total displacement of the ball from here to here is minus 20 meters then all other values we know implies that the minus 20 is equal to what initial velocity of here what was velocity 10 10 into time time we have to find so how can we before finding out how can we know its value so let's take it as t plus half minus gt square of course why minus because acceleration due to gravity is always towards the negative y-axis so minus gt square means minus 10 t square so it is actually into so this will be in five times cancelled implies that the minus 5 t square plus 10 t is equals to minus 20 if you want you can write this equation in this form implies that the minus 5 t squared plus 10 t plus 20 is equals to 0 why such of course it is such because when we are trying to send this minus 20 again to this to the minus 5t square plus 10t okay then when we will transfer here so it will become positive here what is left nothing so zero then this we got according to this now what can we can do remember first term
term first term you have not to take it as negative so implies that the, its value just change its symbol minus 5t square or you can call multiply minus in whole okay in this whole equation then that will happen 5t square minus 10t minus 20 is equals to 0 this we got this very important equation which is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 since we can see this equation is of this form and any equation of the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 is known as a quadratic equation those things you will have studied in your 10th class maths okay in the chapter quadratic equations then according if this is in the in this form then according to the quadratic formula we can easily find out its roots and what actually are the roots of this equation of course its roots are t and if we are finding out its roots means we are finding out the value of t means we are finding out the total time of flight total time of flight for this ball if from here to here it is going in how much time that we are finding so if we, we want so we can find using this the quadratic formula so first of all let me erase this okay so this equation is 5t square minus 10t minus 20 is equals to 0 this is that equation of course now we'll try to apply the quadratic formula in this so what of course what is quadratic formula x is equals to minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so according to this then t equals to what implies that the t equals to minus b what is value of b 10 minus 10 so minus of minus 10 is positive 10 of course but if you want so first of all leave this first only what we will have to do if we want we can still make this equation simpler first let's try to do that what if we, i divide both sides i divide both sides by 5 so what will happen will the value change of course value will not change because both sides of the equation i am doing if one side i will do then the value may change but both sides not so let's divide then this will be cancelled in one tens and two and 4 implies that he is 0 by 5 everybody know that is 0 implies that the t square minus 2t minus 4 is equals to 0 the equation is now made simpler so implies that implies that now to this its roots we can easily find out now it is very simple equation t equals to what t equals to minus b minus b means minus of minus 2 that is 2 plus minus so first by plus will be trying later after that if answer is coming any negative number since time is never negative then we'll try to buy the minus so plus root of b square minus 4 is a b square means minus 2 square that is 4 minus 4 a into a that is 1 since we know here nothing is given so 1 will suppose so into 1 into c that is minus 4 divided by 2a means 2 into 1 nothing is given so we'll su just suppose at 1 because if 0 we are supposing so its value will change directly this whole will become 0 which we do not have to do if 2 will happen so 2 t square is not equals to 2 t square this everybody knows so 1 we have to suppose so this we have got which is equal to what 2 is so 2 plus this will happen root of since we know first will uh, multiply so 4 into 1 into minus 4 this will happen minus 16 so minus of minus 16 that is positive 16 so 4 plus 16 is 20 so plus root 20 divided by 2 into 1 is okay that is 2 so here 4 plus actually here it will be 20 okay 20 for either you can write 20 or you can also write that 4 plus 60 so that of course will come 20 finally so now root of 20 what is its value we can find through okay by prime factorization method so in 10 times 5 times and 5 which is equals to what which is equals to 2 root 5 2 root 5 means root of 20 is 2 root 5 then we can write at the place of root 20 as 2 root 5 which is equals to what 2 plus 2 root 5 divided by 2 which is equals to 2 plus 2 root 5 how we can write let me give the nearest to near value okay nearest value of root 5 that is 2.2 because since we know root 5 it is very large number just in points but even in very large 
first number so how will first of all multiply with 2 then add with 2 then divide with 2 so that will be just very long process this is why nearest value will have to take that is 2.2 2 in 2 root 5 is 2 into 2.2 2. that is 4.4 2 plus 4.4 divided by 2 this let me write here which is equals to 2 plus 4.4 6.4 divided by 2 that is 3.2 3.2 what what is the unit seconds why seconds because everything we have put in si unit this is why time will also come in si units now here the only question is solved here why because t value we had to find and t value is 3.2 seconds using the quadratic formula if you want then by splitting method you can do it okay of course first of all will split the middle term minus 2t later will do by that also same value will come 3.2 seconds so first first option what is one seconds that is wrong that is not matching to our calculation second is also two seconds it is wrong c is 3.2 seconds that is totally 100 percent absolutely correct answer and d none of this it can't be why it can't be of course because our answer has matched to c so how it can be none of this so this is also wrong it implies that a b d and are wrong while option number c is the correct so if we have any such case to any ball we are throwing with 10 meters per second from any height of 20 meters then the total time of flight or we can call that the time in which the ball will return to the whole total surface or the ground that will be 3.2 seconds so this is the question number first now let me pause the video erase this and write question number second so this is our question number second in this and that asks us to us that find the total distance traveled by the ball first option is 10 meters then is 25 meters 30 meters and our last and final option is none of these so since we have to find total distance traveled by the ball not the displacement displacement will be minus 20 meters but distance covered what will it be and distance is always positive it will be some positive numbers we have to tell whether that is 10 or 25 or 30 in SI units or none of these so since what diagram just like last time I admit this was the ball thrown up with 10 meters per second it goes here later it goes here this is our okay this hole is our 20 meters this was of course now according to this if we try to solve since we know that displacement up to here was again zero up to t naught it was zero of course but distance what will be the distance first what i do that this okay this is equals to this actually uh, this is a little curve type diagram okay let me make it such little try to make it straight so this is equal to this can it be of course just like i'm throwing again this cap so when it went here and when it returned here will the distance covered in both time it intervals be same of course it will be the same distance is the same of course then for this also since this is not any projectile only for explaining i have made the diagram such this is actually first ball goes like this and later returns like this so this is of course then the distance this imagine this is the maximum height and this is h max so this will be equals to this then the distance between this and okay this will be is equals to this then according to this if i find one if i find one of this then this will be also done and this already we know here distance covered what will it be 20 meters so only one calculation i have to do and easily we can do that so what equation will be used since v square equals to u square plus 2s no need of time no requirement of time is here so if we go according to this equation we are applying only in this case when it goes up okay in this case we are applying implies that final velocity at this point what is it zero zero square equals to zero that is then zero is equal to what u square u square means of course 10 square 100 plus 2as 2 into a what is acceleration of course downwards means minus g so minus g we can write as minus 10 2 into minus 10 into s s value we do not have and we have to find the same thing implies that 0 is equals to what uh, that will be 100 100 minus 2 into minus 10 s that will be minus 20 s minus 20 s okay implies that this will go here uh, 20 s is equals to 100 okay one and zero and one zero cancelled 
implies that the S is equal to what? 5 meters. Distance covered here is 5 meters. Then here will be also 5 meters. Since this distance and this distance is equal, then here is 5 meters then here will be also 5 meters so up to here what distance is covered when it went here let return to same point displacement will be 0 but distance will be 2 times of this that is 5 plus 5 that is 10 so here what we got this is 10 10 plus this we can call as 30 just like distance covered what will be equals to the sum of all distance covered total distance is sum of all distance 5 plus 5, 1 is 5 meters, plus second is 5 meters, plus later after coming here, it returns to the ground. 20 meter more it covers. Already in question it had give, been given that from a height of 20 meters, then plus 20 meters, which is equals to what? 30 meters implies that the total distance covered in meters or in SI units is what? 30 meters. Since first option is 10 meters, totally wrong. Second is 25 meters, this is also wrong. Third is 30 meters, matching to our solution. Hence, this option is correct. None of this is again wrong because here in our options, we are getting our okay solution. So, how can none of these be correct? Because it tells about those options which are not present in those kinds of options. So, our option number C is correct. Implies that in such a case where ball is falling, okay, just going up first with 10 meters per second by reaching to its maximum height, it falls again and from height of 20 meters per second okay sorry 20 meters it is go just going up with 10 meters per second then the total distance covered by the ball will be in total 30 meters so this was my today's topic based over the questions of kinematics for jee means thanks